Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with another microphone review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Samson CS Series Interchangeable Capsule Select Microphone. If you are interested in this mic kit, it'll set you back around 40 bucks on Amazon, as per usual, link in the description. And for this video, I've connected the mic directly to the Scarlett Solo with no phantom power because this is a dynamic microphone. The gain is set at around 90%, and I will do no post-processing to the audio, but I may boost it in post, so make sure to check the doobly-doo for more information. Now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the microphone. You get two microphone capsules, the CS1, which is a vocal microphone capsule, and the CS2, which is designed for instruments. You get a microphone mount, which comes with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. You get a really nice carrying case, and you get some documentation. As far as the build quality, this thing feels pretty nice for the price. It has an all-metal body, a nice metal grill, and a decent amount of weight to it. As we move around the body, you'll find no other features, but on the bottom of the microphone, you'll just find the XLR port. In order to change the capsules, you simply unscrew the top and replace it with the other capsule. And if you are interested, here's a look at the connection points on the capsule as well as the microphone body. As far as specs, the CS1 capsule has a super cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 16 hertz to 18 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 55 decibels, an impedance of 250 ohms, and a max SPL of 150 decibels. The CS2 capsule also has a super cardioid cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz, a sensitivity of negative 56 decibels, an impedance of 250 ohms, and a max SPL of 150 decibels. Now I'm spinning around the CS1 capsule to see what the actual polar pattern is, how the handling noise is, and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm spinning around the CS2 capsule to see what the actual polar pattern is, how the handling noise is, and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Banging on a mechanical keyboard with MX Cherry Blues directly behind the CS1 to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Banging on a mechanical keyboard with MX Cherry Blues directly behind the CS2 capsule to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. One foot from the CS1, one foot from the CS2, two feet from the CS1, two feet from the CS2, and four feet away from the CS1, and four feet away from the CS2. <laughs> I don't like you, all the things you do You're such a waste of space I think you suck, just a worthless f I hate your stupid face so overall for 40 bucks, I think this microphone sounds pretty dang awesome. Is it the highest audio quality? No, absolutely not. But if you're running live audio and you need to mic a different number of instruments and vocalists from night to night, I think a couple of CS mics in your kit would be incredibly helpful. And on the live audio note, I think the super cardioid polar pattern is a huge selling point because it will help eliminate a lot of background noise and bleed between instruments. All right, guys, I guess that'll do it for today. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought a second, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything in the description down below. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.